Hey Road Ventures, thanks for booking a trip with us. Today we're going to go through a quick orientation and get you on the road as soon as possible. So we're going to be using a contactless pickup and drop off system. Uh, the instructions will be emailed to you prior to, to your arrival. Uh, basically what that means is the keys will be waiting for you in the vehicle um, and everything will be all set for you to go. So the keys are actually going to be locked here in the hitch safe. Uh, which is covered by a cap that you'll need to remove. The code is provided to you in the instructions prior to uh, the pickup and drop off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter in a code here. Slide this open and as you'll see that the key is actually located here inside. Go ahead and put this back on, quick change the dials. Note that this has a downside here, and we'll go ahead and put that back on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get in the van here. As you can see that the diesel tank is located once you open up the door on this pillar. All right, so moving inside the vehicle, once you get in, get situated, uh, the lever for adjusting your seat is gonna be down here. All right, so moving to the inside of the van, uh, once you get in, you'll see it's a push button to start and stop the engine with your foot on the brake. You'll simply just press the button, start it up. Um, to shift gears, it's actually this going to be this lever on the side here. So with your foot on the brake and you pull down, will shift into drive. All the way up is reverse. And the button here is to push this into park. All right, so what's a road trip without good music, right? Well, of course, we'll provide you with chords so you can play music on, on the road. Uh, up here in the dash, we have two different chords, uh, whether you have an iPhone or an Android. They're both USB-C, and they plug simply into the head unit here and then into your phone. Moving on back to the camper. Okay, so we're going to go over some electrical and basic amenities that we have here. As you can see, we have an electric fridge. Uh, it's a 12-volt system plugged in. Uh, power buttons here. You could set the temperature here uh, and then it will automatically set and adjust. No need for ice or anything like that. Inside the galley here we have a sink. Uh, it's hooked up to a five gallon water tank in the bottom as well as the five gallon tank for the drain. You do need to turn the sink pump on. Switch is over here on the right hand side of the galley cabinets. Once we open this up, the water will begin to flow. You wash your hands, turn off the water here. When you're all done, just fold it down and turn it off. Now, all right, so I'm gonna show you how to change the water now. You'll remove the child safety latch, open it up here. Um, you're gonna take off the strap. You'll see that you have gray water, that's the dirty uh, sink drain water. Uh, and then you have your water over here for the sink. It uses a garden hose quick connect, so I'm gonna pull that down, lift it up, and now you can remove the water. When you're ready to, to put it back in, put it back in, reassemble it, go back. Uh, for the gray water, you simply just unscrew it from the container here. When you've emptied out the gray water, refilled your water, you'll come back and tighten down the straps again. It's really good to do with two hands, make, make it nice and tight. On the wall here above the fridge, you have your light control panel with a dimmer switch, as well as the remote to control both fans. When you take the remote, um, it's quite simple on here, power button, reverse the direction of the fan so you can have air uh, being drawn in or out, as well as the speed of the, the fan here. It's all displayed right here on the screen. You do need to point it pretty close to the fans for them to register. All right, so here we have the bed system. Um, we have uh, two you know, bunk beds in here queen size mattress on the bottom with a pad on top. This net is provided here if you want to store things up here while you're in transit. Good place to store some of your groceries. 
Underneath the bed, we have some, some storage. Uh, that's where we keep the pots and the pans. Now this is kept in place with a small piece of Velcro underneath. So when you're stowing it, go ahead and slide it back there and just move it around until you feel it catch. In addition to that, underneath the bench seat is where we store the pots, pans, um, and eating utensils. Go ahead and open that up. You'll see everything neatly stored in this organizer here. All the eating utensils are kept within this. And furthermore, we have a cutting board and knife set in here. Same thing, it's all stored with Velcro, so you're just gonna put it right back in there, feel secure. And on the back of the seat here, we have your basic cleaning supplies, as well as a first aid kit. Um, and on the wall here is where the fire extinguisher is and garbage can. All right, so this vehicle also has window shades, magnetic window shades for the windows in the back of the van. For the front of the van, you'll see that we have a blackout curtain that will drop down and go across the bar here. The window shades are folded and stored in the shelf up top. You will open them up and they will magnet to the windows here, just like that. So approaching the rear of the van, you will open it up to the garage area. Uh, you'll see here that there's uh, two separate compartments. On the left hand side, we will have your chairs, your kitchen table, your stove and your propane, and the right will be available for storage. One thing to note is the order in which the door shut. So the driver door must be shut first followed by the passenger door with the Mercedes emblem on it. We'll also be providing you with some basic camping uh, and cooking type um, supplies. So we have a stove, a table, a lantern with some pots and pans. We'll also provide you the one gallon propane tank for your stove as well. Inside this black bag in the trunk cargo area, we'll also provide le leveling blocks. So if your campsite's uneven, you need to level out uh, the interior of the van. Uh, these are essentially just big Lego blocks. So what you'll do um, is arrange them underneath the tires as shown here, uh, and then you'll reverse over them and put that parking brake on. Hopefully it'll be all leveled out. In regards to the electrical system, Van Kilpatrick is very simple. This is just a 12 volt system. There's no 120 volt outlets or wall outlets like you find your home. The fans, the sink, uh, the lights and the fridge all run off a 12 volt battery system. There's three ways to charge the battery. The main and primary source are gonna be solar and when the vehicle's engine is running. Uh, there's also a third choice which we have is shore power. Now we only recommend shore power to be used if you were going to be boondocking for a few days or basically uh, if, if you're going to be parked at a campsite or you'll be uh, not running the engine for more than three or four days at a time while using all the electricity, uh, then we recommend shore power. Other than that, you should be good to go for several days as long as the engine runs for a little bit each day. Okay, so if you will be using shore power, uh, you will only require a 120 volt or 110 volt hookup, which is just a simple three plong, uh, a house plug or extension cord. Uh, when you're at campsites, you do not need 220 uh, volts or 30 amp or 70 amp. Uh, that's simply just too much. Uh, so you will simply just get an extension cord, plug it into a wall outlet, come on over here and plug it into the van. It will automatically connect to shore power inside. There's no settings to be changed or anything like that. It's very easy. Now, if you have any other technical troubleshooting questions, you should reach out to us uh, first. Uh, if you are off grid or out of service and you have questions, we'll also store the instruction manual for this inside the owner's manual case for the vehicle, uh, which you could find in the overhead shelves of the driver and passenger seats. Welcome back for your trip. We hope you had a great time. Uh, when you're all done, we ask that you put the key back in the hitch safe, lock it, put the cover back on, Please refill the gas tank to the same level in which you received it. Um, and if you could please also empty the gray water. Thanks so much. And we hope to see you again.